Until now, I've always learned within given structures of knowledge with clear rights and wrongs and my work has been marked and corrected so that I better progress within those structures. And this work has been really different. I've had to be uncertain and it wants me to not know rather than to know. I've got to get used to being disorientated. My education to this point has taught me the ways in which it's acceptable to know and alongside that it's also taught me the parts of my experience that I encounter that don't count as knowing. It's so easy to mistake the structures by which we define knowledge as being themselves definitive but it's a circular argument. They, they define themselves and they and they that with the knowledge that they produce so guess what they find themselves to be ideal but they are structures they're philosophical constructs not immutable facts they're just ways of knowing and to say that there are other ways of knowing and other forms of meaning isn't to say that those old structures are wrong or bad Though you might, some people might want to say that. It's just to recognise that different structures work better for different sorts of meaning. So to give you a really clear example, there's the idea that if you count something, or you repeat the experiment and you count it again and you get the same answers and you get an average and all that stuff, then it's proven and that's good knowledge. And if you were working out how many trees an apple is going to produce this year, then that might that might work well. Although I bet, I bet you're already thinking in your head like me, hang on a minute, what if the weather's different, you know? But recently I read a paper that was, uh, it, it involved looking at people's emotional states. And so they'd ask people how they feel. And then after that, they'd ask them to rate those emotions on a scale of one to five. And then they'd taken the data from that scale of one to five and they'd averaged it and turned it into graphs and calculations and they'd proven certain things. But, you know, if I asked you how you felt and then I asked you for more information about that, if I, or then I wanted to know more about that, would you expect me to ask for a one to five rating? <laughs> Surely it's less information in a one to five rating than more. There's a poverty un in the understanding rather than a richness to it. So if we're looking to know how people feel, then the ways of knowing that are rock solid for other forms of meaning might not be what we're looking for. And you can repeat that argument for multiple different things that we might encounter in our lives that don't necessarily sit within the pre-given structures of how we are supposed to know and the correct ways of finding these things out. So it's, it's an easy sort of dismissal to just sort of say, well, feeling isn't knowledge. But if we want to know about these things or if we want to understand these experiences better, then we have to consider how we go about knowing the things that are outside of the designated silos of correct things to know about and so it's worth questioning the structures that dictate what we know and questioning what we think of as worth knowing or understanding or apprehending and to use the research jargon what we're doing when we do that is questioning our epistemology the how we know and our ontology what we think there is to know and I was distressed is probably the most accurate word when as my research progressed I didn't feel like I was knowing more wasn't learning anymore I'm supposed to defend at Fiverr this new knowledge that I've created and my supervisors were great they taught me to sit with that feeling and to look at it and I realised that 
As somebody who's been relatively successful academically, I'm used to the feeling of acquiring new knowledge. Like, I've been taught that knowledge is power, you know? What is such an interesting juxtaposition, that one. And my past experience of knowing has been to find myself more orientated, more secure in my understanding, like bolstered, strengthened. I've, to, I've felt the power of that knowing. I've increased my power. And in doing research with people with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities, I had to consider whether I was going to impose those old structures of knowing onto them was I going to designate what we would know and how we would know it? Or would I go with a more humble approach that recognizes that these are people who experience meaning and then figuring out how we can experience that meaning together and recognizing that that might not be through the structures that I've previously understood to be the ways to know new things. And so we did this. There are other films that talk about how we did it, um, but as we did it, I, f I felt that new meaning, that apprehension of new stuff, new understanding that I hadn't experienced before, but I didn't feel like I knew more. I didn't feel like I had a grip. I didn't feel more powerful. I felt buffeted and disorientated. It was like bumping into things in a dark room. You know, you could feel that they were there, but I wasn't any more sure of how to navigate in the space than I'd been before I went into it. I didn't feel empowered. If anything, I felt disabled by these new encounters. <laughs> my supervisor commented that my reports about how I felt chimed with things she'd read about how people who seek to decolonize research feel when they do research with indigenous populations and that's how come my latest paper has the word decolonize in the title because something interesting happens when you stop being afraid of not understanding and you get comfortable with not knowing i can't say i'm comfortable with it but theoretically because Certainty is a weapon of fear brandished by people who must be the king of the castle for their own insecurities. But moving with uncertainty and being able to say, I don't know, I don't understand, has a certain beauty to it. Like, we have to try and dance in that dark space and be bewildered and embrace the not knowing. <laughs> I wonder if I can get through a favour by defending my, I'm not going to defend my new knowledge, I'm going to defend my new not knowing. I wonder if I could do it through contemporary dance.